Uh, very good to see you again in this lovely morning and to start our day with the yoga practice. So thank you so much for having me in your homes. And um, let's start as usual. So to slow down our minds, to slow down our internal rhythms. So for that, we need time. And we have time. You have time. Okay. Zafira, I'm just going to ask you to put the sound off. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Excellent. So close your eyes and just visualize your body sitting in Sukhasana, in this pose. Feel your sitting bones, feel the pubic bones coming down, your buttocks backwards. Your knees drop and you go wherever you're able to go. Try not be in tension if you need to stretch one leg or do whatever you need. Drop your shoulders, drop your arms, release your hands, whatever you want, hands up, hands down. Open your chest, enlarge your chest, enlarge your thoracic cavity and drop your shoulder blades downwards. Once you do that, you open space in your chest. So you'll breathe deeper and longer. How's your neck? So keep your neck long. You can move gently side to side your neck just to check how's your neck. So keep the crown of your head up to the sky. So your neck is long, your spine is lean. So you have this fantastic body where your mind lives. So be gentle with this body, be kind with this body, it's your body. Be grateful for this body and for this practice. You're able to practice. So once you're present, just transfer the focus for your breath. Observe yourself inhaling and exhale. So how deep is your breath? Are you breathe short? Are you breathe long and deep? Are you making effort to breathe? Don't worry with that. Just take your time and breathe. Your mind will be serene and tranquil and your breath will be longer and deeper. Observe the area all around you and your body in that pose, Sukhasana. Take a deep breath all the way down to your belly. Take your belly button out, enlarge your back, and you feel that space, that inner space coming. 
breathing out just take your navel navel in and you release all the air and your chest going shorter breathe in long and deep and your body and your shoulders and your face more relaxed and you melt in the pose breathe out and release just one more deep breath breathe in and breathe out and release So once you hear in your space, connect with your breath and your body, I invite you to join your hands next to your heart for a Om Mantra to open this practice. Take a deep breath. Shri Guru Pyanamaha, saudações a todos os mestres e que tenhamos uma boa prática. So take a deep breath and raise your arms. Long arms, relax your shoulders, open your back. Stretch and awake your body. Breathing out and just gentle, gentle. Drop your chest, your hands, your arms and drop your head completely towards your mat. So you are waking your body without pushing, just be gentle. Be gentle. And feel. So you look forwards. You bring your hands next to your feet and open your chest again and let's do some breath and some flow exercises. So you just raise your arms again, take a deep breath, breathing out, drop to your right. So you open your chest, open your heart up to the sky, beautiful. Take a deep breath all the way up again. Release your shoulders. Breathing out, drop to your left. So like a, a dance in synteny with your breath. Breathe in, long arms, long spine, upwards. Breathing out again and drop to the right. So this will be the record of this practice today. Breathe in and long arms, drop your shoulders. Breathe out and release again. And you start feeling that your body is getting softer and warmer. Breathe in, long arms. Breathe out again, drop to your right. Open your heart up to the sky. In a very gentle way, breathe in again, upwards. Breathe out and drop to your left. Beautiful. Take a deep breath all the way up again. Very good. And you go to twist to your right. Be gentle with your back, with your lumbar zone and turn your chest to the right look to the your right shoulder so turn your neck you're stretching your neck removing the tension of your neck so come and center yourself all the way up again raise your arms breathe in and breathe out twist for your left And again, center yourself all the way up, breathe in. 
and once again twist for your right and awake your spine, the pillar of your body and center yourself, breathe in, take long and deep breaths all the way up breathing out and twist for your left And center yourself again, take a deep breath, raise your arms. And now you're going to make big circles at the back. Get your shoulder blades closer and just cross your hands and open your chest. So you move your shoulders to the back as much as you can. Very good, girls, that's right. Open your chest, take a deep breath. Breathing out, drop your chest and your arms, you go wherever you're able to go. Take a deep breath and draw, um, put your, your shoulders back and take your chest up again. That's right, Safira, up. Breathing out and drop your chest again. Breathing in once again, open your chest, raise your arms and drop your hands towards your shoulders. So big circles, get your elbows closed, breathe in and open your chest. So release the tension of your shoulders. So these circles, they are gold for your shoulders and your shoulder blades so move that joints create space and mobility in those joints beautiful and a bit more open a bit more and you just swap direction and now you close the elbows forwards Beautiful. And circles, big circles. And one more circle. And take a deep breath, raise your arms again. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And through the end of your throat, so now you take your shoulders close to your ears as much as you can, tension and release. Breathe in. Release all the weight that you carry on your shoulders and your light like a feather. Breathe in. That's right. So stretch your legs now gently forwards. Remove the blankets and just take your hands back. Make yourself in a comfortable pose. Keep your feet a bit apart so you have space. And just circles with, the, with your feet so you have that beautiful join which is your ankles and that make you able to walk. So take care of your ankles and your feet. Feel your feet. Breathe and feel your feet. Circles. And now you swap direction. Swap direction. Beautiful. And you take a deep breath and stretch the torso of your feet. Breathe. And breathing out, active your toes, tuck your toes. Breathe in and stretch long. Breathe out and 
tuck your toes. And once again, breathe in. And breathe out, tuck your toes. Very good. So from here, just sitting bones. Excellent. And just, you can put your feet apart that align with your hips, stretch all your back and let's be gentle with your back in a very, like we've been doing, flowing exercise in synchrony with your breath. So take a deep breath, long arms, breathing out, release. So you are in the first asana, so don't worry if you can't reach your toes, just be gentle, be kind. Take a deep breath, raise your arms, long arms, long back, open your chest. Like a beautiful dance. <clears throat> and breathing out, release. Take a deep breath all the way up again, long arms, long spine, release your shoulders. Breathing out and you drop again. And for the last one, take a deep, deep breath. <clears throat> and now breathing out, make a big circle at the back again. And you just active your hands on your mat. So wherever you prefer, mind your wrist. So there are some people, they're doing forwards to the side or even back. So the thing is, mind the join of your wrist, okay? So wherever it's okay for you, that's fine. So we go for the tabletop. So you active your fit, adjust the joints at the distance on, to align to your shoulder. That's right, very good. So you, with your, activating your fit you, and your hands, you're going to take a deep breath and move your hips and your chest up to the sky. Mind your shoulders. And breathing out, ever sit. Very good. Take a deep breath all the way up. Move your hips and your chest. That's very good, Safira. Breathing out and release. Très bien. Two more. Breathing in, Becky. If it's that's right. Breathing out and release. And just one more. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out and release. And from here, just please. Hi, Jesse. Oh, you have it. Oh, Mel. You are both so cute. <laughs> so let's go for the cat pose. So you align your joints, wrists with shoulders, knees with hips, and flowing with your breath once again. So to your spine, awake your spine, breathe in, look forwards. So your spine loves this, yeah? You keep your heels away of your shoulders. Breathing out and curl as much as you can. Close your chin towards your chest and stretch the muscles of your back towards the ceiling. Breathing in, look forwards and for lungs. That's right. Breathing out and curl as much as you can. Stretch your back. Breathing in, look forward. Breathing out and curl. So lumbar neutral. Take a deep breath, find your balance and take your right leg back.
back, align your hips, and you can point your toes like a ballerina foot. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Breathing out and you're going to curl and take your knee towards your forehead. So you're going to feel the muscles of your abs. You're squeezing your abdominal area. So take a deep breath and stretch your right leg back. Open your chest, look forwards. Breathing out and curl your back and toe and bring your knee towards your forehead or to your nose. Breathing in and full lungs. Beautiful, that's right. Breathing out and curl, curl, close. Take a deep breath again. Breathe. Breathing out and curl. And once again, take a deep breath, right leg and left arm. Breathe and stretch. And uh, just drop your left arm, move your left foot out of your mat, turn to the right, you can put your right foot downward so you will get more balance, okay? So find your, find your and choose whatever is suit you. If you are balanced, then you can take your right leg up and you align with your hip. So make your choices. and drop your right arm, your right knee, and adjust your knees, your wrists, and tuck your toes. Take a deep breath, look forward. Breathing out and drop your buttocks towards your heels. So stretch your arms, stretch your chest, your back, Take a deep breath, adjust again, you with your wrists and shoulders, and drop your buttocks again, and take it up for the Adho Mukha Svanasana. So please drop one heel, feel the stretch of your back leg, back thigh, and swap to the other one. And drop for the right, Swap to the left and awake your calves, your thighs. And from here, you drop your knees, you drop your buttocks, and you stretch and drop your head. Palasana, the child pose. So feel your body after these asanas and observe yourself, your breath. And once again, just go to the cat pose, adjust yourself and take a deep breath with your left leg. So align your hips, point your toes, breathe in, look forwards. Breathe out and curl, curl and close, breathing out. So take a deep breath and stretch long. Breathing out and curl. Breathing in. Very good. Breathing out and close. 
breathing in once more and breathing out close take a deep breath and stretch and join with your right arm long feel the stretch from your tip of your fingers to your toes breathing out drop your right arm turn your right foot out of your mat drop your left foot and turn to the left open your chest up to the sky if you are stable you can take your left leg upwards and align with your hip and drop your left arm left knee adjust your joints and just take a deep breath and move your buttocks downwards to your heels drop your chest for balasana So from here look forward, take a deep breath, active your hands, tuck your toes, breathe in, drop your buttocks backwards, breathing out Adho Mukha Svanasana, the down dog pose. So once you're here, just be gentle with your joints, wrists and shoulders, slide to the, on, on top of your wrists for a plank. So keep your navel in, so drop your hips for a plank, Shachpadasana, that's right. Take a deep breath, put your knees downwards, close your elbows to your ribs, take your heart and your chin and slide to your mat for the snake pose. You active the muscles of your back, you squeeze your buttocks, you protect your lumbar zone. Breathing out for Namaskarasana, you drop your forehead. Breathing in for the up dog. So you open your chest, you drop your hips, tuck your toes, breathing out, drop your buttocks towards your heels keep your toes active on your mat breathing in go to the cat pose and come back to the Adho Mukha Svanasana so in a very gentle sequence okay so breathe in slide to your wrists again Shachpadasana Breathing out, drop your knees, your heart and your chin. Breathing in, Urdhva Mukha, the up dog. So be gentle, take your time. Breathing out, drop, tuck your toes, drop your buttocks towards your heels. Breathing in, cat pose. Breathing out Adho Mukha Svanasana. So your body is dancing and flowing on the pose. So this is the practice of today. Flowing through asanas, dancing through asanas in synchrony with your breath. So breathe in. Breathe out Shachpadasana. Slide to your wrist. Knees on the floor, knees downwards, and chest and chin downwards. Breathing in Urdhva Mukha, the up dog. Breathing out, tuck your toes, drop your buttocks to your heels. Breathing in, cat pose. Breathing out, 
Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathing in Shachpadasana. Breathing out knees, heart and chin. Breathing in up dog, open your heart, beautiful. Breathing out, drop your buttocks towards your heels. Breathing in for the last sequence, cat pose. Breathing out, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathing in for Shachpadasana, the plank pose. Breathing out, knees, heart and chin. Breathing in the up dog. And breathing out, go into Balasana and rest for three long and deep breaths. Observe yourself, your body, your breath. Breathe and melt on the pose. <clears throat> so you look forwards, you have a seat on your heels, and please mind your wrists and make circles with your wrists. Very good. Big circles with your wrists and find the mobility in that joint. So change direction. Very good. So now with your left hand, you put in the palm of your right hand you stretch your arm and you pull your fingers down. Left hand, right hand. That's right, Safira. Well done. Uh, uh. Okay, Sarah. So, left hand, right hand, and push downwards. Left, right. That's right. Look, Safir, um, um, Saha, with your left hand, you're going to put on your fingers. That's right. And now you put, exactly. So you need to push down and you, exactly, Becky, well done. Exactly. So you find the stretch on your wrist. Are you feeling, Saha? That's good, yeah? Très bien. So from here, you just swap hands, right hand on your left. And you put your fingers downwards, that's right. So from here, just join your hands in Namaste and press your hands. Feel the, the, the muscles of your chest active. And release, release, shake, shake your wrists, shake your hands. Very good. Okay, so from here, you're going to keep your back strong, the torso of your feet active on your mat, and you're going to need ties, strong ties, the longest muscle of your body, your quadriceps. So you're going to take your buttocks away of your heels. And without moving your chest, using your abs and your thighs, you're going to drop your buttocks 
close to your heels. So check if your feet and your knees are okay with this. Are you okay, Becky? Okay. So take your body. Let's avoid, avoid to do this. So the temptation that we want is to move your weight here to take this up, yeah? Avoid to do that. You need this and this. So you're going to, to come up in a straight line with your spine, something like this. Good, beautiful, that's right. And coming down, look my spine, you don't move your spine. Good. Move your hands up, align with your shoulders. Turn your hands downwards, breathing out and sit on your heels. Ah, you're awake now, Becky, yeah? Is that burning? Excellent. Take a deep breath and come up. Open your chest full lungs. Turn your hands down, breathing out and sit. If you don't have pain on your knees, if you feel burning on your thighs, that's fine, okay? Breathing in comes up. If you need to have a break and a rest, do that. And turn your arms downwards, breathing out, release. Take a deep breath, comes up, breathing in. Breathing out and release. Beautiful. Just three more. Breathe in, up. Breathe out and down. So now you come all the way up. Breathe in. Stretch as much as you can. Comes with the arms up, Saha, s'il vous plaît, c'est ça. Breathing out and comes all the way down. All the way down. That's right. Breathe in and up. Breathe out, release. So now we just go a bit longer and deeper. Breathe in. Open your chest, mind your lumbar zone, squeeze your buttocks. Breathing out and release. The last one, take a deep breath. Make a circle and hold your lumbar zone and slide your hips and open your chest. So we are in a variation of the camel pose. Um, Sarah, don't lose your head to the back, okay? That's right. So you active the muscles of your neck, but don't lose completely because it will block your throat. Take a deep breath. Breathing out, release. Hands on your mat. Knees to the side. And relax your chest, your back, and breathe. Excellent. Take a deep breath, look forwards. Bring your hands close to your knees and please let's have a sit right here. So shake your legs. That's right. Very good. And from here, just make, let's make a nice twist. Twist, they are very, always very welcome. Sitting bones. So take your right knee up and cross through your left. Tuck your left toes. 
stretch all your spine move your right arm to the back and move your left arm up to the sky breathe in and breathing out make a gentle twist to the right so you can hug your thigh or you can just Sarah can you just drop your left arm and hug your right thigh beautiful and you look to the back in the direction of your right shoulder so feel the twist feel your back that's right and just release And from here, just put your feet in a very gentle Baddha Konasana, just a bit away of your pubis. Hold your ankles, stretch your spine, keep your heels away of your chest and open your chest forwards. Breathing out and just curl your back, you close and take your chin towards your chest. Close as much as you can. Take a deep breath and move your sitting bones towards your mat. Open your heart and look up to the sky. Breathing out and close to the hearth. Drop your head, curl your back and move your chin to your chest. And from here, take a deep breath and long spine and just stretch your right leg and cross your left. That's right. Take your left arm backwards and your right arm upwards, breathing in, breathing out and a beautiful twist. So look to the shoulder behind you. release so stretch your left leg towards your mat tuck your toes and once again for Paschimottanasana long arms take a deep breath release your shoulders long spine breathing out and drop your chest go wherever it's able you're able to go and Four long and deep breaths in Paschimottanasana. One. Two. Three. And four. Breathe in, look forward. Move your hands next to your hips. Move your buttocks towards your heels and let's lie down feel your back on your mat so this feels always so good so enjoy <coughs> enjoy for two seconds one two enough i'm joking <laughs> okay so hi safira <coughs> so i hope you're seeing me all right then so you would just feel your back melt on your mat. So feel that the joy of being completely released. Hi, darling. 
Okay. So once you're here, take a deep breath and just slowly take your heels ne uh, next to your hips and active the shoulder blades on your mat and move vertebra per vertebra all the way up. Open your hips, open your chest and move your arms all the way back. So you feel your back big, enlarge your shoulder blades and full lungs, breathe in, breathing out and you bring your arms up and downwards as your back comes all the way down. So you bring your back all the way down for the initial pose. So you release your back downwards, Sephira, with your arms and gentle. So like we've been doing through all the class, right? In the flowing and gentle way, in synchrony with your breath, right? So take a deep breath, vertebra per vertebra, join your arms, open your chest and drop your arms back. Feel your hip opening, feel your chest open, full lungs. Breathing out vertebra per vertebra downwards and your arms join that flowing downwards beautiful so take a deep breath all the way up again arms back and release at the back Breathing out and move slowly towards your mat. Release. All the way downwards. That's right, Safira. Just one more and for the last one. Take a deep breath all the way up and back. Breathing out, release your back and your arms. Beautiful. So put your arms to the side. Take your thighs next to your chest. Take a deep breath. Breathing out, drop to the right and look to the left, okay? So you look to the left and drop to the right. Take a deep breath and move to the center. Breathing out and drop to the left and look to the right. And once again, take a deep breath and center yourself. And stretch now your legs up to the sky, tuck your toes. So feel your sacred zone supported on your mat and you make a nice angle of 90 degrees with all your body. So now you take your hands in the direction of your toes. Now you start smiling, Becky. This is the time that when you smile. <laughs> okay. So breathing out, just bend your knees and release. Drop your arms. Just keep your knees up. And breathing out, stretch and come all the way up again as much as you can. Breathing out and release. Breathing and come all the way up again. And now you just take your feet together in Baddha Konasana, cross your hands Drop your knees, drop your heels, and drop your head. 
Very good. Breathe. So from here, you can just take your hands on your ankles, on your legs, and just stretch to the side, wherever it's okay for you. You can take your toes or your joints, whatever. And release. Join your knees. Very good. And massage your back side to side. So give a nice massage to your back and release your back. So take a deep breath, breathing out and take your forehead into your knees and close like a shell. So you can grab your joint, the joints of your ankles or of your feet, whatever it's okay for you. And from here, just release your body completely on your mat and please get ready for your Shavasana. So please get your socks on and your blankets. If you need the support for your lumbar, you can use a pillow under your knees and your lumbar will be more happy. So whatever it's okay for you, just find your pose, find a comfortable way where you can relax completely, completely. So if you want to lie down or Zafira, do you want to lie down? Yes? Yeah, in Shavasana time. So it's very important that you are completely, completely relaxed. So please take a deep breath, release all your body.
with a deep breath. You return to your body, to your space. You gently move your hands and your toes. You can take gently your feet to your mat. You can bend your knees and take your time with no rush and drop to the side. With your arms and with your hands, please take your chest up and have a seat for a few more moments. So take, keep your eyes closed for a few more moments. <clears throat> Just observe yourself now after the practice, the sensations and feelings on your mind and body. Be grateful for this morning, for this body and for this practice. Open your heart for these feelings and feel embraced for those ones, for self-love, for love for others. And take a deep breath and through the end of your throat, release. Just two more. The last one. Very gentle, just make circles with your head and with your neck. And just checking if everything is okay. With long and deep breath. And you swap direction. And it's like a yummy pose that feels good. And to finish our practice for today, just center yourself, rub your hands to feel the warm on your hands. Close it in a curve and next to your face. Start blinking your eyes through your hands. And put your hands away of your face now, watching the palm of your hands. And good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this beautiful morning, girls. I wish you a lovely day and a namaste.